Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be showing you guys some more awesome secret hiding spots and bounty hidden locations that you can use in Grand Theft Auto Online. Okay, so I think we're on episode three of this series, and you guys have just absolutely shown a ton of support, whether it's in the comment section or with the likes, just the support has been absolutely insane. And as always, my goal with these videos and this series, I guess you could call it, is to show you guys at least one new spot that you can use in Grand Theft Auto Online to hide out from either bounties or just troll your friends or just find a secret area to hang out in. And if I can do that and show you at least one new spot, then I've done my job and I have accomplished what I wanted to do with the video. Okay, so let's not waste any more time and let's jump straight into it. The first location is actually going to be one you might be pretty familiar with, but with an interesting twist. So it's actually going to be the Ornate Bank in downtown Vinewood. This is the exact same bank you used for the final heist mission. And what we're actually gonna be doing is getting on that bright kind of advertisement on the outside of the facade of the building. And interestingly enough, you can actually get on there and it's a really interesting spot. So what you wanna do is land on the top of the building, not like the very top where that kind of tower is and that dome is, but close enough to the top. And then what you wanna do is go over to the rail and jump over off the side. And if you do this correctly, you should notice that you're actually able to land on top of this billboard advertisement. And interesting enough is like you can see through, you can look down towards the bottom, but you yourself won't actually fall down or fall off, which is super cool. Now I figured this is a cool hiding spot for two reasons. One, on the mini map, it looks like you're actually inside of the building. So someone would immediately go into the building as opposed to looking at the giant advertising on the side. And number two, you can kind of like shoot down below at people through the sign and it's really great to just get a jump on someone if that's what you wanna do. And also, if they don't find you in the building, their next likely guess is to check on top of the building, but guess what, you're not gonna be there either, you're gonna be hanging out on the side of this sign. Now do be careful because it is pretty easy to fall off, I did that once and I fell to my death, but it is pretty awesome, you can get a great vantage point, obviously cops won't be able to get to you from the ground, the only way they'll be able to hurt you is from a helicopter, so this is a great hiding spot because people are gonna either think you're in the building are on top and they're certainly not going to check the top of the advertisement so i thought that was really awesome all right the next secretive hiding spot we're going to be looking at today is actually at the noose fib building which is really close to the edge and the water of the map so what you're going to do is going to travel here and you're going to need to go up to the very top of the building very close towards the center and you should notice that there's a few staircases there's a few air conditionings there's a few helipads and you want to look for this kind of like checkerboardy tic-tac toe board pattern and what you want to do is actually drop down inside now if you do this carefully and you have full health you shouldn't die and what will actually happen to you is you'll almost be like encumbered inside of this box or this cube so the rows and kind of these sideways pillars that make up this building will not only give you awesome cover but will pretty much give you like an amazing place to hide out from someone if they are chasing you and like our other locations because on the mini map it looks like you're going to be on the roof or inside the building if someone does try to come after you they're not going to have a clue where you are and because of the way like those pillars kind of cross each other a helicopter can't really land inside in there and no one can access you from the front. So the only way they'd be able to get to you is if they were to get on top of that kind of location and end up shooting down at you, which would be extremely rare and you would have the jump on them because one, you would know they were there and they're the ones that are looking for you. So you're gonna have the advantage in this awesome hiding spot. It's really secretive, it's hidden. The way the building shape, it protects you from vehicles. So this one's super cool. It's at the Noose FIB building. Definitely recommend you check it out. Okay, the next building we're gonna be checking out is in downtown La Mesa. It's actually near kind of one of the ammunition stores and also near the railroad train tracks. So it's kind of off the beaten path. And what's cool about this location is it's next to an abandoned factory and it's only accessible via helicopter. Meaning the only way to get on top of this building is from a helicopter. And the only way to get inside is jumping through the open slots in the roof. So again, this building is gonna provide some amazing cover. It's gonna provide an awesome location where you can hide out in. 
but it's also got great open windows where you can shoot from or pull out a sniper rifle, or if you want to just go on a cop-killing rampage, this would be a great place to do it as well. And if you are actually hiding from someone, this is great because the only way they can get to you is through jumping down that hole in the roof. And obviously, if you're expecting them, you're going to have the advantage when it comes to killing them because they're going to have to, one, come to your location, and two, they're going to have to jump down in that hole, and you certainly should get the jump on them uh, if they do end up doing that. But also, at the same rate, like I mentioned earlier, on the minimap, it doesn't look like you're connected to a road or really a building that has any entry or exit points. So people will be confused in and of itself, and if they do manage to find the entrance into your hiding spot, you should ultimately get the jump on them regardless. So it's pretty awesome. All right, the next two spots I'm going to be showing you guys, I've actually done dedicated videos to because I thought they were pretty awesome. It's like the secret swimming pools of Los Santos. And believe it or not, in downtown LS and Vinewood, there are a ton of hotels and buildings that have swimming pools that aren't accessible via the street. So I'm going to be showing you guys two right now. This first one is right next to the Life Invader building. And what's great about this is, like I mentioned, these swimming pools, since they're enclosed, they're not viewable from the street. You're hidden from the minimap pretty much, considering it looks like you're literally inside of the hotel. And you've got a great hideout and vantage point where you can escape from people and not have to worry about them catching up to you. So I've covered this one, which of course was in downtown Vinewood, right next to the Life Invader sign. This is a pretty great one one very minimal street access so you can certainly hide out here but there's an even better one and I'm going to show you guys that one right now this one is actually located in West Vinewood it's actually on top of a building and an added bonus of this is this pool is hidden behind bulletproof glass so I'll show you guys where it is right now this building is only accessible via one a staircase in a tiny alleyway and two helicopter so it's going to be really hard to reach this location. And basically what you want to do is just climb up the set of stairs, climb up the buildings. And you'll notice this like pool and this door that look to be he like hidden behind this plexiglass screen. So you can actually go up inside. And unfortunately, there is no pool for you to enjoy. The water has actually been drained. But what's cool about this location is like I mentioned earlier, there's like a bulletproof glass wall that will prevent you from getting shot. So not only is this a great way to pre prevent people from shooting you from ground traffic, but also it would prevent any police officers from like getting a pop shot on you or anyone who's trying to hunt you down from a sniper rifle from a long range away. They wouldn't actually be able to shoot through that glass. So the only way to get to you would be to get on top of the hotel, which is only accessible via a plane or a helicopter. So overall, I think this is the most secure location of all the ones we're going to be going over today. It certainly provides you with the most cover and the fact that you're elevated so high on the ground is another bonus to go along with this as well. All right, and last but not least, the last location we're gonna be looking at today is actually the Los Santos Department of Water and Power. So you guys might know about this building, you might know the exterior, but some people might not have known what's actually on the inside, and it's basically a giant power grid. Now, what makes this extremely difficult for other players to enter is two, it's very hard to land any sort of helicopter or vehicle on one of those power grids. So you would clearly know when they were coming in because they couldn't just like drop their ship down or drop their plane down and be able to easily fight you. They would definitely have to carefully navigate their way inside of this building or they would probably explode. And what's great about this as well is because it's a power station and this is something else you might not have known about is the like power conduits that you can kind of see around the area. They're actually will electrocute other players if you get near them or stand on top of them. So what you can actually use this for is a pretty sweet defense mechanism if you want. That way, the only way the players can get to you is if they risk themselves getting electrocuted in this area, which certainly would be hilarious to see. And if that did happen to them, you know what? You could get the jump on them and ultimately kill them before they do any damage to you. So I know this might have been the most obvious location out of the few that we looked at today, but you might not have been aware about how dangerous the inside actually is when it comes to one, being able to electrocute other people, and two, it is a crazy maze of steel and electrical wires in there, making it really difficult for anyone with a vehicle to get inside. But anyways, that's all the secret spots and bounty hiding locations that I'm going to be going over for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Once again, my goal for this video was to make sure that you at least got one new spot that you can utilize and take advantage of in Grand Theft Auto Online. And if I did that, my job is accomplished and the video was a success. If you did go on to enjoy, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. Without the way guys, like I said, thanks for watching. 
Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.